Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back one last time to regular season Anderson basketball. We are live from the rival school, McCallum High School here in Austin, Texas, and the Trojans are over there on the opposite se uh, side of the court looking to pull off back-to-back -back undefeated district runs. The Trojans enter tonight at 26 and 8. They are 13 and 0 in district play. McCallum, their opponent, the Knights enter tonight at 12 and 17, 7 and 6 in district play. Not a lot to be said for Anderson. Uh, their playoff position is already locked up. They are the winner of district 17. So they will play no matter what, whoever gets fourth place in District 18. That is, of course, the uh, the district over out in like the Pflugerville area. You've got all your Pflugerville schools, Maynard as well, Bastrop as well, Elgin. And right now it looks as it, well, that one's a little bit up in the air. Now back on our end, uh, McCallum, their season is not technically out of reach making the postseason. We thought it was, but they've actually have one avenue, but it's going to be incredibly tough. First, a big ask is they have to beat the Anderson Trojans. The last time that these two played, well, let's get it pulled up. Yeah, the last time these two played was back on January 21st. It was an 87 to 44 blowout on Anderson's home court. It was one of the best games that this Trojan team has put together all season. But McCallum will have to beat this Trojan team if they want to get into the playoffs. And perhaps even more unlikely, Navarro, who is 1-12 in district play, 5-24, has to go on the road and beat Crockett, who will be in the postseason if they can win. It's interesting, though, because Lockhart uh, has the tiebreaker over Crockett, I believe. However... Crockett uh, would not have the tiebreaker over McCallum, so I believe if uh, McCallum wins tonight, Crockett would slide out, not Lockhart, but I'm not totally positive on that. Now, on to the other end. You'll love this. The team that Anderson, I believe, will be playing in the first round, which should either be Monday or Tuesday of next week, will be Pflugerville Connolly. They are 21-13, and 6-7 and seven in district play. They've got Cedar Creek tonight. They're on the road, though. Cedar Creek, Cedar Creek, however, Cedar Creek, that's a bit of a Freudian slip. They are 3-10 and 10 in district play. So I believe Connolly will be able to take care of business. But if they can't, and Hendrickson is able to go on the road and beat, or actually Elgin is going to come to Hendrickson's house, 0-13 Elgin. So that's basically an automatic win for Hendrickson. If Connolly can't take care of business, Anderson would get a first-round rematch against the team that knocked them out of the postseason last year in the first round. But everything's going to have to work out just right for all that to happen. But right now, Anderson, of course, is focused on the game at hand. They're wearing their gray alternates for one last time this season. Trojans looking to complete the sweep, make it a 27-win season. This will be their 35th game on the year. Anderson looking to make it 27 and 8 as their final regular season record. That would put them on a 15 game win streak to end the season. We're just about two and a half minutes away from getting started here. It looks like McCallum uh, might have already done their senior night celebration and you know what that tells me. You never want to do senior night or homecoming uh, against the team. I could really take it to you. And in the last time that these two played, uh, Anderson did just that. At the time, it was their highest scoring output of the season. They since broke that a few games later against Lockhart. But this was their second highest scoring game. And uh, Lockhart, they only did it by one more point. So that last game there was 87 to 44, as we mentioned a moment ago. Lockhart, they won it 88 to 56. So point differential, the McCallum game uh, was much more lopsided, but by total points, Lockhart had it by one. Anderson has scored over 75 points in their last four games. They've really turned it up offensively, and against Navarro, they only scored 63, but I feel like that is one of those situations that has a lot to do with uh, everybody not playing the full game, but here comes the Trojan bench. We are stuck in our little corner over here. Don't love it, but 
it is what it is. We can make do. It's just nice to have a table. That Imagine we'll have our national anthem in just a minute. Get a quick fist bump for Bennett Blackerby to get the game going. Appreciate it. Speaking of Bennett Blackerby, he, oh, man, he was on fire in that last game. On the Trojans' senior night against the Crockett Cooters, Cougars, excuse me, it was 75 to 32. Bennett Blackerby totaled 23 points. He was just hitting everything, hitting some absurd pull-ups on the baseline. It was, just an, it was just an excellent, excellent game from Anderson. As McCallum coming out chanting, 14-13, of course, the score of the football game that these two teams played this season. But I wouldn't be chanting 14-13 because that's a one-point victory. And Anderson in basketball, the last time these two played, beat them by about six touchdowns. It was 43 points. So we've got their PA. We'll go ahead and throw it down to them. And we will be right back once we get started here. Thank you. 
This is a heck of an atmosphere. Yes, here come the Trojans. <laughs> Nate Langley going to be tipping it off. He'll be out there with number 22, James Fanning. They will be without Hudson Cook. Started for them in the last game. Scored seven points. So here come the Anderson Trojans getting ready to tip it off. Going to try and make it an undefeated season. In First quarter, underway, as McCallum has won the tip. And here comes Varela up, coming up the court, hands it off to Fanning. Now back outside, the Knights working it around the perimeter. That's number 13, Nate Davidson. Davidson all the way to the bucket, right at Langley. Nate forces the miss, rebound high to Blackerby. The Anderson student section, that's them right there, has traveled very well tonight. As here comes Mike Wagner into the front court. Langley going to post up, kick to the corner. Francis left open. He's going to take one dribble inside. Can't knock it down. So we won't have a great camera angle, it appears, tonight. We'll try and get it fixed here in a moment. Varela coast to coast, way out of whack. Langley is going to take it away. He's ahead of the pack. Nate coming up the right side of the court. He'll kick it inside, loses it. Whitlow is able to come away with it. Whitlow going to get it over to Blackerby, and we will reset there. So here we go. I'm um, going to try and just on the fly. Blackerby going to dribble into a pull-up. Can't get it. Whitlow on the follow. Can't get it. Mitchell have another chance at it. Sorry about that, folks. As that's going to be a foul and one for Jack Francis. Don't quite have the camera back yet. And here we go. To adjust it. Get it. Yeah, we should be good to go. Just got to get it. Wait for it to come back. Jack Francis makes the first. We've lost our camera here for a moment. 
but that's Mike Wagner on the three, I believe. So Anderson out to a quick six to nothing lead, or excuse me, five to nothing lead. That one just a two. But Anderson, Francis with two. We'll, uh, we'll try to get the camera back, but in the meantime, it's just going to take a couple of moments. Wagner not quite able to save that from going out of bounds. There we go. Now McCallum with it, five to nothing game for the Trojans. Going behind the back with it is number 13, Nate Davidson. Now he's stuck inside, gonna get the whistle in on Blackerby, but no good on the uh, shot, so we head to the line for two. A little hectic start for all of us. So now, over two minutes into the game, McCallum has their first points. It's a free throw for Nate Davidson. Officials letting them play for the most part here. Two for two. Much better angle. Now Blackerby going to try again. No good. Rebound Whitlow, but it's batted out into the hands of Mike Wagner. Now here's Mike driving in. Kicks to the corner for Francis. Jack going to pump fake it. And he'll stay there. He's going to drive in on the baseline now. Get to the basket. Gets it to go. Not sure. No foul call. But Francis will just take the bucket. He's got five. Here comes McCallum. It's barely a home game over in this corner. Arnold loses it. Langley can't get it. McCallum finally luckily gets it back. And going into the paint, spinning and airballing the layup. Mike Wagner with the excellent defense. That was James Fanning inside. Here comes Wagner. Whitlow going to take it all the way to the cup. Eurostep. And the basket's good. Mitchell Whitlow. Anderson with a hot start. So 9-2, not entirely sure who has scored the baskets. I'm going to go ahead and, oh, I have, a, I have a contact inside. Got to text my man Scott on the inside. Maybe he can help me out. Now 4.49 to go. Bringing it up is Noah Arnold. He had 11 and what was a very frustrating game for him in that first one between these two teams. There's Varela with it outside. He's trying to work with it. Francis nearly got a steal, but now Arnold has a little bit of position. He's going to drive right into Langley's chest. And now McCallum just trying to take it right at the Trojan big man. That hasn't worked for anybody this season. Now here comes Mike Wagner streaking up the floor. Kicks it over to Blackerby on the right side. Bennett, here he comes. No good. Rebound Langley. It's batted out. And now once again to Wagner. It's been an incredibly physical game as that's going to be stolen away. But Wagner gets it back through his legs, down to the floor. And who's going to get it? It will be a jump ball, and it should be Anderson after this. Wagner to inbound. Number 11 gets it into number 5. Seen that a lot this year. Check beautiful feed to Langley. And that is how it is done. Nate Langley, 8 points in the last game between these two. He had 15 on Friday. We will have Friday off as the postseason isn't going to get started until next week. Now here coming into the lane, shooting it. Anderson just, McCallum is driving into the chest of an Anderson player on every possession, and the Anderson player just has to hold his hand up. They're not really making a compelling case for a foul, as here's Langley inside, and that, that was a compelling case. Yeah. 
This is a this is a basketball game as Langley misses the shot. And of the football players, the last time these two teams played, Fred Dale had his revenge. 16 points in the last time these two teams played. Whitlow was out during that. So Dale, that was his big game as a starter. As Langley goes 0 for 2, so can't make him pay, but nice to pick up the foul at least. Now driving coast to coast, getting all the way to the basket, a little out of control there, and a beautiful tip in for number 21, J.D. Jordan. That was... Now back up, here's Francis going to drive to the middle of the paint. Inside to Langley, Nate going to put it on the floor. Kick to the corner. Now we have an open look at it. That's no good, and it's going to go out of bounds over the backboard. Is Blackaby having a hard time getting started here today, but after how hot he was, it, you can expect a little bit of a cool down, and that's a nice job getting it to David Houston at the basket. Here's Wagner leaking it up ahead to Blackerby. Bennett going to cross over. And then he's going to get called for a carry. Because I have a feeling this McCallum team is uh, a whole lot more concerned than Anderson right now. Now here comes Arnold, going to go right at Francis. Jack doing a great job sticking in front. Now Arnold just going to fade. That's another air ball, and Davidson. Oh, they're going to get a foul on the box out. The officials have, uh, have an interest in keeping this one close right now. Now Vanellic is going to try and get it in. He does just back outside to Arnold. Francis picking up Arnold. He's going to get open to the elbow. That's going to be no good. Rebound up to Jordan, and he gets it. J.D. Jordan scoreless in their last outing. Four points already in the first quarter. Now McCallum scratched their way back into it. It's 11-8. Here's Jack Francis on the wing. Crosses over. Dishes it inside to Whitlow. Mitchell going to take a bump. No foul call, but Mitchell to the line. That's his second bucket. He's got four. 13-8, and Dale and Bazarian are going to get checked in at the next dead ball. Here comes Arnold. Now a dump off inside to Jordan. Jordan going to get position on Blackaby, and they don't really have an answer for J.D. Jordan's size right now. Coach Pitt wants a foul call, and here's Francis streaking the floor. That's blocked, but Jack will head to the line for two. We might have a close game here. Last time these two teams played in this building, I believe last year, it was a two-point game. It was the, one of the only ones we weren't able to get in the gym for. As we don't have a number for number 12 here, as Hudson Cook usually wears 12, but he's out, so I assume that's a JV player that's been called up. But now Jack to the line for two. Makes it. Fourteen ten. And Jack makes it two for two. So Francis with seven. Anderson back to a five-point lead. McCallum doing a good job scratching their way back. It's all been number 21, J.D. Jordan. He's been the big reason that this is still a close game. He's got six points, and he has it there on the block. He's going to go right into the chest of Whitlow. Dale able to get the board, and no foul call on the rebound. Here comes Mike Wagner now for the Anderson Trojans. He crosses to the left. He's going to get all the way to the cup, lays it up, can't get it. Dale's on the glass. Freddie goes up with it. He'll be fouled. So Langley and Black are going to get their first rest of the game as Dale and Bazarian check in has been the rotation for Anderson for most of the latter part of this season. As Dale misses the first. Two points in their last outing. Six points. 16 points the last time these two played, including a pretty nasty buzzer beater. As Dale goes 0 for 2 as Mitchell Whitlow can't get the rebound over Jordan as Jordan's using his physicality here today. Here comes David Houston, number three. Crosses over Bazarian, now back outside for Arnold. He's going to drive to the paint. Go right at Dale. No charge! And a blocking foul! Oh, my 
my goodness, the officials here tonight are really not giving it to Anderson as, as Fred Dale was there for about a minute and a half and he just got laid into. That, oh my goodness. That's, that's one of the worst calls I've seen on the season and I'm right here. I am as close to the basket as anybody. As here's Arnold. Free throw is going to be no good. Here comes Whitlow on the board, able to escape with it. Here come the Trojans. Gets it to Whitlow. Now Wagner, under a minute to play here in the quarter. Dale probably got away with an illegal screen there. Is Wagner all the way to the cup? Lays it up, lays it in. That's his second basket of the game. Mike Wagner, four points. 17 to 12, 45 seconds to play. Here comes Arnold. Now out there on the wing. Caleb Maynard into the game. Here's Houston. Bazarian picking him up, going to cross over, take it at him. Ben doing a good job staying in front, and that's going to be a turnover on McCallum. 26 seconds left, so Anderson will have another crack at it. So now some subs in for Anderson. Francis to the bench along with Whitlow. Langley and Blackerby both back in. So here's Nate up at the top of the key. Wagner ch being chased around. That's some excellent defense from McCallum. Under 10 seconds to play now. Wagner with the ball. Mike goes to his right, crosses over, and he's going to have it stripped away. Three seconds left. They got it back. And now no one's going to get it before the quarter ends. And that'll, uh, that'll end our incredibly hectic quarter. Anderson is up by seven at or after five, uh, up by five after one. That was a very hectic first quarter. Anderson struggling a little bit, shooting from the field and struggling a little bit with some of these foul calls under the basket, uh, especially that one for Dale. I mean, Fred got laid out. Uh, they're not even going to call Ruffin the passer on him. But no matter, we'll just keep it here. Anderson, seven points for Jack Francis, four points for Whitlow, four points for Wagner, two for Nate. Blackerby held scoreless. He went 0 for 4 from the field, so not the hot start that he had in the last game that these two teams played, but, or, or excuse me, in Bennett's last game on Tuesday against Crockett, he had the 23. He struggled against McCallum in the first game as well, only scored 7. But last time, back in January, Anderson really pulled away in the third quarter. They won it 30 to 12. As, they, uh, as they've been doing an excellent job in third quarters all season, as long as they can keep McCallum at bay at, uh, until halftime, Anderson will have a good chance moving forward in this one. Two points for Houston, Arnold, and Davidson. J.D. Jordan, the only one that really made him pay with six. So to start the second quarter, it'll be Whitlow, Francis, Gill, Blackerby, and Langley. Trojans will have the ball to start the quarter. Jack will be uh, on primary ball handling duties here for the Trojans. There's Arnold defending him. He kills his dribble. He's just trying to get it to, jo uh, to Langley, who's defended by Jordan. Making a fakes up. Put it on the floor with his left. Gets caught going to the basket. Now here's Blackerby coming around the screen. He'll pull up. Gets it to go. Ben and Blackerby finally on the board. Inside the arc there. So just a two, but now a seven-point lead for the Trojans. Here come the Knights. Here's Houston with it for McCallum. He's going to take it in. Gets it behind the back on Gill. Floater's good. David Houston, he's been using that same behind the back move all day. And it's gotten the Trojans a couple times. Here's Whitlow going to take it in. Back out for Langley. Nate going to put it on the floor. Gets right around Jordan all the way to the cup. Can't get it to go. Rebound into Langley. And Jordan throwing elbows. I don't know how that's not a jump ball. As they both held onto it for a moment. Anderson leading it by five. Arnold with it on the perimeter. He's going to take it through on Langley, and that's going to be a travel. It was either going to be an offensive foul or a travel, so I think uh, Arnold will take that. You can tell he was incredibly frustrated in the last game that these two guys played, so I imagine he's, uh, he's got an agenda here in his last, could be his last game of his high school career. Arnold with 11 points and their last outing. Here's Francis. Gets it into Langley. Langley facing up, putting it on the floor. Now back outside for Gill. 
Gill going to dribble around the perimeter a little bit with it. Now back to Francis. He's going to go right at Arnold. Into the air. Now back for Langley, who's left open. Ooh, almost had a step back three, but it'll be Gill. Jackson can't hit it. Rebound up high to Langley. Nate going to be fouled. It'll stay on the floor, but it will be a foul. I don't have a great angle myself with this Anderson bench, but that'll be the second foul. I believe Jeremiah Adams is number 12. He was number one last game. He had 13 points. So we'll just go ahead and update that because every other number we do have accounted for. All right, now lobbing it in. They get it up high to Francis. Arnold there draped on him. Jack left open on a screen from Langley. It's no good. Francis wanted the foul call. And now they're going to call that on Jack. That's ridiculous, man. That's ridiculous. They both got their feet tangled up, and then Jordan went down. As My goodness. Jordan fouled Francis before Francis fouled Jordan. So I'm not really sure. But Anderson just getting the raw whistle here tonight. Not sure the, the team fouls right now. Is, don't have a good look at the scoreboard on this side. But there's Maynard around the perimeter looking for Jordan. He gets it to him. They're looking for Varela. Varela cuts it back door. Now he's trapped on the baseline. They get it back for Houston. He's going to drive at Langley. Now back for Arnold. Blackaby in defense. Anderson just has to, to put their heads down and, and, and play through it right now. This here's Arnold driving at Whitlow, loses it to the ground. Francis going to die for it, but it's out of bounds. And it will be McCallum Ball. Nineteen fourteen. As Gill will step out, Anderson has their starters back out onto the floor. Here's Arnold crossing over on Whitlow. Langley goes up at him. No good. Rebound falls to the ground. Anderson able to take it away. It's Whitlow. Here come the Trojans. They've got numbers all the way to the cup. Laying it up and in is Mitchell Whitlow. Mitchell has exploded here in the first half. Six points already. Just going to go ahead and stand up myself so we can see everything. Here is McCallum with it. Now coming around is Houston. Houston all the way to the cup. He's trapped at the baseline. That's Maynard. Maynard looking for Varela. Now there's Houston with it on the perimeter. Back outside for Maynard. And this is where the Knights will reset. Five minutes left here in the quarter, in the half. 21-14, Anderson leads it three touchdowns to two. Here's Arnold, and they're going get, to get Wagner for something. Now here's Varela, getting ready to pass it in. Finds Arnold. Now here are the Knights, here's Maynard, gets it, and that's going to be a traveling violation. Update the scoreboard, 4.49 left. Now here's Whitlow, going to check out in for Campbell Duncan. Campbell will be the one to pass it in for the Trojans. So Anderson still has won the district no matter what. Here's Francis, and that's got to be a foul call against McCallum. They're going to get Arnold, who's been hounding Francis all night. I think that's going to be two on Arnold. That's the 16 foul going against him. Now here comes Wagner trying to get it in. He does to Francis. It wasn't his best pass. But now here's Jack with it on the corner. He's going to drive in right at Arnold. Back for Langley. Fakes it with the pass. Here's his three. That's no good. Anderson really struggling from outside so far today. And now here come the Knights the other direction. 
This is Houston. He's going to find Varela, but uh, Black could be there to save it from going out of bounds and get the steal. He gets it into Langley. Now here comes Mike Wagner. Wagner on the left side. He's going to take it to the basket, and they're going to get a moving screen on Langley. And the official's saying he didn't move his shoulder. He's saying it was his footing. So Derek Armour into the game. Campbell Duncan out there with Wagner, Francis, and Whitlow. Mitchell going to have to step in. Uh, didn't get much rest there, but Langley now picking up another foul. Or I'm not sure if an illegal screen is a foul or if it's just a, just a turnover. But now skip into the corner for Varela. He hasn't done much with it tonight. He'll pull up, and that's going to be good. Now two points in the game for Rylan. Now here's Wagner. Screen comes from Armour. Mike going to pull back, dishes it off to Armour. And now Derek going to go back outside, and Campbell Duncan doesn't have the hands for it. This here's Arnold into the front court. He'll pull up. That's good. As you can tell that this game means a whole lot to the team in white tonight, especially with their student section here. As here's Wagner all the way to the cup. Goes up with it. Strong can't get it. Armour tried to bat it away as Wagner wanted a foul call. But now with a chance to tie it are the Knights. Now here come the Trojans. Wagner dumps it off to Whitlow. Whitlow going to take it. A little floater is good. Mitchell Whitlow is coming alive here. Eight points in the first half, 23 to 18. Three minutes to go. And did they just get him for a carry? Hey, Anderson wasn't even trying to, they weren't even playing defense yet. But now here we go, starters back into the game for the Trojans. And it's been Mitchell Whitlow tonight who's carried the way as Anderson has really struggled from the field on offense. Langley, uh, Francis, and Blackaby have all struggled hitting, uh, hitting shots that aren't at the basket. But now here's Francis bringing the ball around. They're looking for Whitlow. They get it back to Mitch. Now here's Francis. Jack faces up. Now Jack going to take to the basket. Pulls up at the elbow. That's going to be no good. Rebound high to Nate Davidson. Anderson with the five-point lead. Now here's Varela. Wagner picking him up. They get it back outside for Maynard. Well, they may have gotten away with a little double dribble there, but taking it all the way in is Nate Davidson. That's an off-balance finish. Anderson with a chance to drop their first district game of the season. It's a three-point game with two minutes left. Back outside for Langley. Langley puts it on the floor and loses it. Anderson just turning the ball over today. No one really has the hands. Whitlow goes right in to try and take it away, and that's going to go right to Francis. Another bad turnover for McCallum. Back-to-back -back bad turnovers, both of these teams. Jack Francis dribbling to his left, gets all the way to the cup, lays it up, and it's blocked. Rebound to McCallum. Blackerby steals it away. Bennett to the basket, lays it up, and one! Bennett Blackerby! We have a timeout after this has just been a, a, an incredibly back-and-forth game. Both these teams are... Uh, <laughs> Really physical. Feeling strong. Bennett Blackerby will have a chance at one free throw uh, when we come out of the timeout. But this is a full gym, and it is it is sweltering in here. I, I, I came wearing a sweatshirt, and I, I had to take it off. But now I feel bad. I'm just wearing a shirt that says Krusty Burger. It doesn't feel like work attire, but it's fine. No one's called me out on it. But now here we go. Back to the court. Bennett Blackerby will have one. Four for Wagner, four for Black could be two for Langley, seven for Francis, and eight for Mitchell Whitlow. So once Anderson's regular guys can start getting it going, we may have a different story here. As Bennett with a chance to go cool off on the bench, you never want that. 
Blackerby rattles it in. Now he's got five in the first half. Only had seven in the last time these two played. And now Anderson needs some defense. So who do they put in? Colin Page. Six-point lead for the Trojans. Here he comes to play free safety. There's Varela. In the game now for the first time is Finn Corrigan. Corrigan with uh, defending his Colin Page. And here comes Jack Francis. He has a leak out. And he's going to lay it in on the other end. Jack Francis stuffs it down. Another rim grazer for Jack Francis, but it puts the Anderson lead back to eight points. Largest since early in the first quarter, as there's Colin Page. Varela having trouble with it, and now trapped in the corner is Fanning, and they're going to get Anderson for another foul? That's on Wagner. That was... Mm. That's going to be two on Mike. They'll send Wagner to the line, and now that's one and one free throws for McCallum. That's a tough break against Anderson, who had just done one of its best defensive traps of the season. Front end's no good. Francis around to get it. And Francis now down in pain. There's no foul call on the, on the rebound, and Jack is down in pain. As Anderson is just... Mm, they can't get one here tonight. As Jack comes up lipping, he seems okay. That's the same foul that they called on the other end. But now it's against Anderson, so it's not a foul. As Coach Pitt has come all the way off the bench. And now Jack, very lucky that wasn't a severe injury. And now they lob it in. But they get it to Davidson. He's going to go right at Page. Davidson bumped off. And now here's a shot from Jordan. That's way off. Now rebound goes inside to Fanning, and now they're going to call the foul. They'll get Page out. There's only a minute left, so they've got offense. Bazarian stays on the floor with Wagner picking up his second foul. So it'll be Langley, Whitlow, Francis, Blackerby, and Bazarian. Anderson with an eight-point lead. Another free throw coming from Brock Fanning. He missed the front end of the one-and-one one a moment ago, and he does it again. Here's Langley. Uh, maybe a push-off on Langley there. Here's Francis. Blackerby going to step into it. Can't hit it. Rebound high to Whitlow, and that's going to be a foul going against Jeremiah Adams. He unwisely slapped at that ball. And now Whitlow will have a chance for a pair of free throws. Or rather, excuse me, he'll have a chance to, uh, to shoot a, a one and one But Bennett Blackerby going quick and trying to get that two for one, which doesn't really exist, but it's a whole lot harder to hold the ball for 45 seconds. So I don't dislike that shot. If only he was able to knock it down, give Anderson uh, a double-digit lead again. But now Mitchell Whitlow to the line. He's looking to put together a 10-point half as the first one falls for him. Now nine points for Mitchell. As they're going to get Jack out of there. Lucky to see him coming up completely fine. It looks like he just kind of took a stinger on his left leg. Could have been very dangerous, uh, especially coming down the wire as we head to the postseason. Whitlow two for two. Gorgeous half of basketball for Mitchell Whitlow. He's got 10, and Anderson leads by 10, so they've needed him here tonight. Now here's Varela. He gets it up to Maynard. Now back outside. Trap comes from Page. Now here's Maynard. Looking for somewhere to go with it. Langley takes it away, but it's back into the hands of McCallum player. They're lucky to get it back. And they just left someone wide open under the cup. But they're going to get a foul on Bazarian. And number 22, James Fanning will head to the line. As now the foul's really starting to add up for Anderson. That's okay, though, because it's, it's, uh, it's Ben Bazarian. He's only got one. Ben, talking to the officials, see what's going on. as the official, this official had issues with the Anderson student section. So this official is, is uh, he had issues with the JV bench as well. So he really doesn't like hearing it. So I imagine that's gonna affect things moving forward as that rattles in for James Fanning. Don't expect any foul calls from him. As the Anderson student section loves it, they're instigating. And now getting ready to shoot another one is James Fanning Anderson with 30 seconds to, uh, to try and to try and add to this. It's a nine-point game right now. One free throw more coming from James Fanning.
Fanning goes two for two. McCallum really making their living at the line here so far today. 23 seconds as Jack Francis has taken his time with it. Anderson gave the ball up on their last chance to hit a buzzer beater, but here's Jack Francis with 15 seconds remaining. And they're going to give Jack the space. Here's Francis. Eight seconds now. Crosses over to his left, gets to the basket. Now back outside for Bazarian. Bazarian going to put it on the floor. Francis gets it back, and it's going to be knocked out of bounds. And it will stay here. You got to add more time, or is that it? Don't think Anderson really has enough time to get this off. But if they're going to let him. Is Anderson trying to do a little too much there just to catch and shoot, or maybe they'll just need a tip in. Jack not going to get that off, and he's not going to get it to go either. But eight-point lead for the Anderson Trojans as we head to a very uh, well-deserved halftime for all parties involved. That was fraught. Coach Pitt is still talking to the officials as Coach Pitt can't believe it for some of the calls that Anderson is not getting tonight. Uh, and the official, I mean, it's, it's, their, it's their job to try and protect the Anderson players and protect both these players on this court. And it's been pretty one-sided here tonight. But now, with eight minutes of halftime, or excuse me, ten minutes of halftime coming up, we'll go and uh, send it to break. We do have breaks here tonight. As Anderson leads it 30-22 to 22 at the break, we'll be back in a few minutes. But for now, just going to go ahead and send it away. We'll be right back.
Come back into it. Anderson leads it by eight after what was a very tense and physical first half as the matchups between these two teams tend to be. Anderson couldn't get uh, some help from the officials tonight. The The ones that come to mind were, were when Fred Dale got clobbered, when Francis was called for tripping when he himself was tripped moments before, when Francis went down and almost uh, suffered a, a major leg injury and to a lesser extent the one over on the sideline when Anderson was called for a foul on the trap as they are still harping about this football game. That was like what, six months ago? It's 14-13 too, that's not even... <laughs> that, isn't, that isn't a whole... It's not like it was a blowout or anything. McCallum finished second in district. Their first game, which was a non-district game against the Trojans, uh, they won it at home by one point. Now Anderson uh, responds by going the next time they play in basketball and beating them by 43 points. And now in their own gym, McCallum trails by eight. So Anderson coming into the third quarter, which has been where they've been so good all season, but I imagine McCallum knows that, and they're going to throw everything at Anderson right now. A couple guys in foul trouble all around. But Mitchell Willow has been the one carrying this team on offense tonight. He's made some excellent plays. He's got 10, 9 for Jack Francis, 5 for Blackerby, 4 for Wagner, and 2 for Langley. So it's been all the starters here. As Anderson's going to need a little bit more from their big man in this second half. He's not wearing his headband. Maybe that's the, uh, that's the problem. Fourteen, thirteen. So an Anderson team that, uh, as far as I recall, did not make the playoffs. They went uh, two and five in district, so that wasn't good enough for them to make it. But their big, uh, their big win on the year is beating a team that missed the playoffs by one point at home. I gotta, I gotta talk. I got to talk trash too, right? But Anderson uh, with a chance to, to shut up the home crowd for good. As they enter with four and a half minutes to play to get some of these shots up. Is that's what they've needed. Is they haven't, um, haven't had a very good time getting outside shots to fall. Francis and Blackerby, the two guys who are the most adept at it on this Trojan team, have really struggled here tonight. Uh, just from the just from the floor is Jack Francis still with nine points. Bennett Blackerby starting to get it going inside the arc, but still has yet to find that three point stroke. As here's they are out back shooting. The defense has been pretty good. You held them to 22 points. The offense has struggled at times. That's been, as we've discussed. They haven't had bad looks. They've just turned the ball over a little too much and missed shots. But defensively, the biggest thing to do is just try to defend without fouling. I know that a lot of the calls that Anderson is is, is being subject to are, are pretty much out of the out of control. I know Langley picked up one um, on a box out earlier in the game. But they've just got to keep their heads down and try and keep playing basketball. This is their time, their third quarters, where they come out so strong. Last time uh, these two played, it was a 30-12 to 12 third quarter for the Anderson Trojans. Let's see if they can replicate uh, something like that as we go forward. Francis putting up some threes. Blackerby putting up some threes. Jack, good to see him walking off that uh, that leg injury that he had. Looks like he um, will be able to maintain his high level of play moving forward, but hopefully that won't limit him any as we go into the playoffs. It's 
no contusion, no no deep tissue bruising or anything like that. But the students for the Trojans have been out here in full force tonight. They're a big part of this game is they've made it really hard for McCallum uh, to hear themselves think on offense. Same thing with Anderson, but now both of these teams will be on opposite sides, of course. So Anderson will be shooting over here this half as there's Blackerby getting some shots up. As even in the warm-ups, number 10 and number 5 can't get anything to fall. But now two minutes to go. Whitlow getting some up as well. Blackerby knocks that one out at least. If you did not join us on our last couple broadcasts, Jack Francis joined the 1,000-point club for Anderson. We don't have live scores uh, in these games, unfortunately. Let's try and pull up the standings for the Trojans. Yeah, it looks like we aren't getting any live updates, unfortunately. Although, no, we've got one. We've got one final score. Crockett 62, Navarro 26. So that officially ends McCallum's season. But I don't think they want to hear that <laughs> as we enter this second half. Hopefully it's going to be a little cleaner overall. Will be McCallum ball to start things. Eight-point game. Ready on the inbound is Varela. Two points in the first half for him. Just tries to get it to Arnold. Arnold has to go into the backcourt to avoid Francis. But now we are underway. Should be an exciting one. As here's Arnold. He loses it. Langley, good job poking it away. Now Nate isolated out on the point guard. They get it into the big man, Jordan. He was the only one that really made Henderson pay offensively. Is there's Varela going to try and fire a three? That's no good. Rebound goes high. Blackerby going to take it away. And now they're calling a jump ball pretty quick. When Jordan was grappling at it with Whitlow, they, they, they held it. But that one, they jumped on it pretty fast. As it will be Anderson basketball. As here comes number 11, Mike Wagner. Back out for Francis. They get it to Langley on the left wing. There's Blackaby right in front of the camera, of course. Now here's Whitlow going to drive in, loses it. Francis gets it back. Out for Langley. He's left wide open. That's good. And man, Langley heating up from downtown down the stretch this year. Five points in the game. Maybe that'll get him going. He, he struggled to find the touch around the basket. But here comes Arnold. Nate Langley puts it to 11-point lead. He's a shooter. As here's Arnold. They get it back outside for David Houston. Four points in the first half. He's going to go at Wagner. Dishes it off to Jordan. Now back outside for 13, Nate Davidson. Arnold left open for the three. That's going to be way off. Rebound goes to Blackerby. Bennett now pushing the pace. Crosses over. Loses it. Gets it back. And get all the way to the cup. And that's blocked by Jordan. Good rejection. Is Blackerby going to give him credit where credit's due? But it's still an 11-point game. As here's Wagner to inbound it. Ooh, it's tipped on the inbound. Francis couldn't clear it away. Blackaby's there to get it. Now he'll have it. This is it off to Langley, but it was just slow. Would have been a free basket for number 24. But instead, they'll come the other direction with it. 11-point lead for the Anderson Trojans. They still haven't given up a point. Now there's Arnold. Kills his dribble. Now back for Davidson. Davidson going to take it right at Whitlow. Bumps him. Gets to the basket. And now a late whistle from who else? They're going to get Whitlow for it. Number 13, Nate Davidson to the line. He has is, is made his living at the free throw line as well today. Four points in the game for him. 6.22 remain here in the third quarter. Box out, J.D. Jordan. 
He goes two for two, trims it back to a 10 point lead. Here comes Jack Francis. Jack on the left wing, Whitlow coming on the screen. Jack just gonna fire. That's no good. Reed Hunt goes right to the hands of Blackaby. A good bounce for the Trojans. He'll step back into one. Bennett Blackaby from downtown! Woo! Bennett Blackaby, maybe he'll heat up. Anderson, two threes in the quarter. They've got six. McCallum has two. Here comes Arnold. Arnold turns in, loses it a little bit. He's going to retreat. Now back outside, here's David Houston. Comes around. That's poked by Blackaby. Bennett out and running. Takes it back to the middle of the court. Dishes it to Wagner. And that's going to be rejected out of bounds. And they're going to call a foul. So now McCallum getting a bad whistle. As that looked very clean for Nate Davidson. As the McCallum student section still doesn't realize the foul was called. There they do. Wagner to the line. Ooh. That one rolls out the front of the rim as Mike has had a little bit of a hard time uh, with his free throws these last couple games. Wagner goes over two. Langley there to try and take it away. Because he can't quite do it. So Wagner goes over two. Trojans still have a 12 point lead as here comes Houston for the Knights. Now into the corner. Driving baseline is Varela. He's going to lose it right into the hands of Whitlow. Whitlow, ooh. Maybe lucky he didn't get a travel there. As here comes Blackerby. There's no one in the middle, but Blackerby's just going to take it to the cup. Lays it up and gets it to go. Then a Blackerby starting to get As the fourth quarter, the third quarter, really fortuitous for Anderson once again. They've got an 8 to 2 run to start the half. It's a 14 point. And we have on the floor. It's a full timeout. Just going to keep it here as we have been down the stretch this season. We do have some ads, but we're a little funky in how they work, and I'd rather just, uh, just keep it rocking. So, a little story now that I have time. You remember those Academy reads that I had to do for like the whole season? I don't know. I never asked anybody if I was supposed to keep doing those for basketball, and no one told me. Um, so eventually one day I just stopped, and I haven't gotten in trouble for it yet. So I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I think I'm good. And I, you don't need to hear back to uh, at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Back to school means back to school. Ads that I was doing in October or November. Uh, we've been back to school, pal. But now we go staying in this <laughs> I cannot stress enough how, how hot it is in this gym it is so warm glasses would be all fogging up if I wore them but now 519 as they got Paige into the game to instigate this here's Arnold Paige coming in they get it into Houston he dumps it off inside now there's Jordan he's going to go up strong no good blocked by a couple of Trojans not sure who got the final hand in there as here comes Black to be a little bit of point guard He's going to take it all the way in. Pull up. No foul call. It's good defense for McCallum. Varela comes up with it. Blackaby tried to get it back. Couldn't quite do it. Doing just a little bit too much. As there's Houston. Loses it. Blackaby got a hand on it. Gets another hand. Now here's Arnold into the paint. Dumps it off. There's Varela going to go behind the head. Just a lucky roll. Let Varela find himself, found himself open. And no one was there to protect the rim for Anderson. Now that's their second made basket of the half. Now here's Whitlow. Scoreless so far after that beautiful first half from him. Now here's Francis, dishes it off to Mitchell. Mitchell gonna take it into the paint, all the way to the cup, no one there. How is that not a foul? Mitchell Whitlow got flattened on his way to the cup by Houston, and no whistle was called, but Mitchell hit the basket anyway. From that box out. That's two now on Langley. As it'll be Varela to inbound it. They're looking for Jordan. He's been the one that's given Anderson so much trouble. As here's Arnold. As there's Paige. Paige staying out on him. Beautiful job. As there's Willow to take it away. Lob ahead for Jack Francis. Chases it down. Gets it to go. That's a 
That's the first bucket for Jackie in a while. He's up to 11 now. Here comes Houston. Now we don't have a good angle in this corner. That's been the story. But another turnover, and here's Langley. Now Francis, Jack to the cup, lays it up, gets it to go. Back to back points for Jack Francis. And they're gonna <laughs> drop and page. Professional instigator once again. As they're talking to Arnold, I don't think that this Anderson team likes Noah Arnold very much, and I don't think he likes them. Arnold got very frustrated, almost threw a ball at an Anderson player last time, but can't calm it. <laughs> they calm it down here, the officials. As they were getting paged for chirping, they sent him back to the bench. I don't think a tech was called. I don't think you could call a tech on something that minor after what we've been getting into today. But it's been that one fish official in the middle there who has been the, the one to try and keep a lid. He, he was yelling at the JV bench for trying to, a, a quote, officiate the game, his words. He was getting mad over at the Anderson student section. And now he's getting uh, getting it with Paige. So he's 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 the police on this one. Is Did they call a technical foul on an Anderson? All right, they're gonna call a technical foul on Anderson. I assume it was against Paige, but that's, they have not called this game both ways today. I'm, I try to be very fair with officials. I feel like I generally can point out when Anderson has, has gotten uh, a, away with something or if they've gotten a, a bad call like for them. Like, ooh, they're not a lot of contact there. Um, but this one has just been there. There's some home court advantage here tonight. So two free throws in the ball for Noah Arnold. Only four points in the game so far for him. Misses the first. Because I love those minutes from Colin. I've enjoyed everything I've seen from him there. As both of these teams have been talking to each other, Colin just said something a little too close to the ear of the official. McCallum now lead with So they start off with one free point on the possession, basically. McCallum really <laughs> waiting to get out of this timeout here as they finally do. And here's Varela to inbound it to Arnold. Arnold able to get away from Francis. Around the screen, all the way to the cup. Langley can't get the block, but Arnold can get the finish. So now just down to a 15-point game. As here's it up to Blackerby. Bennett going to put it on the floor. Go right at Varela. Nice job by Ryland to cut him off. Now here's Langley, and the Trojans will reset it now back up top for the Trojans for Whitlow. Dump off to uh, Mitch, Mitch to the basket, and he's gonna pick up another pair of free throws as Arnold, still John with the official here. Foul gonna go against Fanning. <laughs> he was over talking to the officials. He said, my man went straight up. The official looked at him and said, he did not go straight up. <laughs> is that one well soared all the way by Whitlow. Now Mitchell. Mitch makes it one for two, so that's his third point of the half. Puts it to 45-29, a 16-point lead for the Trojans. Here comes Varela. Now up top of it is Jeremiah Adams. He's going to fire away. That's well short. Rebound goes to Whitlow. Now Francis has it, and that's going to be a frustration foul. That's not a good one by Adams. Way they're calling it tonight. You can't give up something that far away from the basket. I think they either said the third or the fourth team foul they are going against McCallum. Still nearly halfway left in this third quarter. It's 2.54 left. Dale's going to check in. He's the only one, so Langley will check out. Whitlow, he's there to get it into Wagner. Here's Francis. Looking at the basket, dumps it off to Willow. That's a nice job to knock it out of bounds. It'll be Wagner looking for Francis, I imagine. There they both are. You can see them in the frame. This is Wagner. Arnold won't let him. But now cuts back to the basket, catches it over him. Going to spin in, lays it up, can't get it to go, but a foul on Arnold. 
Yeah, that's the fourth team foul going against them. Did they say first or fourth against Arnold there? It has to be his first. They have no one subbing in for him, so yeah, it has to be his first. Here's Jack. Misses short. Campbell Duncan going to check in for Mitchell Whitlow, who's really been playing his heart out tonight. But Anderson now, they struggled today from the free throw line. Francis makes it one for two. Pushes his total to 12. And the Anderson lead is back to 17. Now here comes number 23, Caleb Maynard. Didn't see him in the last two uh, last game between these two. So now here's Arnold. Wagner got a hand on it, but now they've got two guys out with nothing to do. Arnold is going to step it back, try to get it. Francis Jack doing a good job staying in front. Here's Maynard just trying to get it inside. And Campbell Duncan going to be whistled for a foul. He, he pulled through. That one's good. That's a good whistle. That is a foul on Campbell Duncan. First on Campbell. A little close there, but Campbell will pick up the foul. Now driving it in, Varela spins out of it, throws it up, can't get it to go. Can't get back-to-back -back acrobatic layups to fall. A turnaround, Jay is well off there. Missed everything. Now here comes Wagner. All the way to the basket, loses it going out of bounds. It will stay here, poked out by Varela. Fanning had a chance at the follow, but he couldn't get the shot to fall. They will have another baseline out for the Anderson Trojans. Campbell Duncan and Fred Dale along with Wagner, Francis, and Blackerby. They get it into Fred Dale. Now Wagner has it. He turns and spins. He's going to dump it off to Campbell Duncan. He's going to take a shot at it. Can't get it. Gets the follow, though. Gets it again and gets it to go! Campbell Duncan working hard in the offensive glass. Gets his first bucket of the game. It's a 19, yeah, it's a 19 point lead for the Trojans. Once again, I'm not, I'm not good at math. And Rylan and Varela right there wasn't very good at dribbling as they get it to Maynard now back outside for Fanning. Varela has been, has had some good handle tonight. I just had to, had to tie it in there. I don't want to disparage him. He's been good. Now here comes Arnold all the way to the cup. Throws it out for Varela. They get it inside to Fanning. It's poked away by Blackerby. Loses it into the air and Fred Dale cleans it away. Bennett Blackerby, he's all over the place on defense. I mean, he plays the same way as everybody else on this team. He's just getting after it. Here's Wagner with an open corner triple. Can't get it to fall. Place would have erupted on the Anderson Trojan side of things. But now with one minute to play, Anderson has a 19-point lead uh, in the third quarter. And these third quarters have been the recipe for Anderson all season. Is Arnold going to pull into one? Try to flop on the three, as that's going to be an air ball out of bounds. Blackerby has it, crosses over. Pass ahead to Campbell Duncan, and that'll go out of bounds. It will stay here. He had Francis streaking down the sideline. Could have had an easy deuce, but no. As Colin Page is just talking a whole lot of mess to Noah Arnold right now. <laughs> he might get his second sack. Now Francis, oh, Jack didn't see it. And Blackaby's just able to get it away. That's lucky. Uh, Jack was trying to spin away, but Wagner was just trying to get it to him. Now Blackaby to the cup, lays it up, gets it to go! It's all a step over! Call that Iverson as Bennett Blackerby is up to 12 points in the game, seven in just the third quarter alone. And William McCallum with the chance for a final shot. This here's Noah Arnold. 30 seconds left. Imagine they'll hold it. It's 50 to 29. Anderson with this largest lead of the ball game. Arnold crosses over, got Francis in the air, gonna kind of lean into it. Gets it to go. That's a nice finish by Noah Arnold. Nine points in the game for him. That's a team high. Now up ahead come the Trojans with 15 seconds left. Jack Francis with it. Now 10 seconds left. Arnold's been good defending Francis here tonight. Jack crosses over. Crosses. He got him. Pulls up. Shoots it. Gets it to go. And he got one. Jack Francis. What a play. Four seconds left as the Anderson Trojans have pushed it back to their largest lead of the ball game. We're going to get J.D. Jordan on the closeout so it wasn't Arnold. As Jack Francis absolutely cooked Arnold with that move there. They've got it up to 31. Francis with that bucket gets him up to 52. Jack now with 13. He's tied Whitlow with a chance to put one more on it right here. He does. As we have subs, they're going to get Jack out of the game. Very smart. Don't want him to pick up another foul. But here's Wagner. They're going to get Maynard or Houston with the ball. Jack Francis heads to the bench after that beautiful play. Full court coming up. 
Now back across. They only have one more second. Rayleigh going to fire. That's well off. So the third quarter magic continues for the Anderson Trojans. They win that one 23 to 11. It was an eight-point game at the half, but with Anderson winning the first quarter, or the, the first half by eight points, they win the third quarter by 12. No, excuse me. I want to adjust that. My mistake. I gave McCallum a little too much credit there. They only scored nine in the third quarter. So it was a 23 to nine quarter. McCallum now with 31. Anderson adding 23 to their 30. Has 53 now. As oh my goodness. I'm like sweating buckets. I didn't even realize. It's fine. It's, yeah. I've said it a few times. It is hot. I can't imagine. I was an intimate personal anecdote. I was a very sweaty kid. And like middle and high school, I think I was just anxious all the time and it made me sweaty. So I cannot imagine being a high school boy right now in this sweltering gym. I would just be, I'd be soaked. So shout out to those guys for sticking around. I think a few of them have tried to get kicked out uh, in the name of the game, but also in the name of uh, wanting to go out into that nice brisk February air. As we now step into the fourth quarter, it's 64 degrees outside. It's, uh, if I, want, if I wanted to give a reasonable and not a, at all hyperbolic guess, I would say it's about 150 degrees in here. But now, I forgot to add Jackie's free throw. As here comes Houston into the paint. Now back outside for Maynard. 53 to 31, Anderson with a 22 point lead. They're looking to get it in. And that's, ooh, they're going to get Langley on the foul call there. Coach Pitt can't believe it. And if Coach Pitt can't believe it, that that's generally my barometer, to be honest. If, uh, if I see uh, Coach Pitt not react to a whole lot to a foul call, I'm like, ah, he probably had a better angle on it than me. But when he's upset, I'm upset. So it's 53 to 31, eight minutes to play. Or rather, 7.45 as we had our first foul call. Is driving into the lane and all the way to the cup. Can't get the acrobatic layup to fall for Davidson. And it's going to go out of bounds off of Francis. Well, now Maynard inbound it. He just lobs it in. He's able to find Arnold. He was on the bench for like 15 seconds there to start the, the quarter. I'm not sure why. But here he comes off the left side. He's going to pull up into a three. That's going to fall. He's really been having a hard time finding the range. He finds it there. And the Anderson student section's happy for him, too. As here's Wagner all the way to the cup. Hops up. Ooh, beautiful feed to Langley. And one! Mike Wagner dishing it and timing. Nate Langley putting it strong to the basket. He's got 7 11, another one here. So after McCallum hits a three to, to really get something going, Nate Langley is going to try and put another three on him, but he picks up the and one bucket. Yep. So eight now for Langley. That matches his uh, total from last game. Anderson up by 22. Ball goes across to Jeremiah Adams. He's scoreless. Had a t uh, 13 in their last game. Here comes Maynard driving in. Goes right at Langley. Ooh, big man move to the cup. No good. Rebound. Goes up high, and that's going to be a foul against Anderson. Davidson doing a good job on the offensive glass. They're going to get Whitlow on it. I believe that's three on Mitchell? It's either three or four. Yep, three on Mitch. Free throw up and good. Where Davidson has been scoring here tonight. He's been uh, he's been a knockdown free throw guy here. It's perfect. 56-36, here comes Mike Wagner. All the way to the basket, going to turn that off to Langley again. Another foul, and that's a bad one from Fleming. That is, or excuse me, from Davidson. That's just a nasty play from Davidson. As tempers are flaring, McCallum in both of the times that these two teams have played, McCallum has let their temper get the best of them. If you remember last game, they had a coach come across the court in the middle of the game and yell at an Anderson student, and he didn't even get a tech for that. And now that's two very hard fouls on Anderson players. And Nate Langley coming up wincing a little bit. Francis was wincing earlier. Well, 
Because in the NBA, that's when they go and uh, quote unquote take a look at. They got Donahoe getting ready to check in. Seven minutes left. Anderson up by 20. Langley with a chance to add two more. Short on that. Three Trojan players and uh, double figures, Whitlow, Francis, and Blackaby. Langley's the closest with eight. He had a chance to get it here, but he won't. He just puts it to nine. As now they're going to call a timeout. As there, the Trojans head to the bench. Coach Pitt want to have a little bit of a conversation with the officials. I think that's probably wise. Langley up to nine points. After he's come alive a little bit, Mike Wagner doing an excellent job of finding his big man underneath. Now let's go ahead and pull up some of these other games. We don't have uh, don't have live scores on any of those Pflugerville games, but Anderson will be either playing Connolly or a revenge game against Hendrickson. I imagine it will be Connolly, just with the scheduling right now. Neither of them. They're playing the second-to-last team in district. Hendrickson, uh, the team, uh, well, Connolly, uh, they're playing the team second-to-last in district. So Hendrickson playing the team last in their district. So you never know. But by the way, just wanted to give a quick little nugget. Travis uh, picked up a win in district play. Navarro, uh, they beat Navarro. So nobody is winless in district play. Navarro and Travis will both finish the season most likely 1-13. Anderson trying to avoid making it 13 and one, but they have a 21 point lead with under seven minutes to play. Here's Arnold defending by Blackerby. Arnold gonna step into another one. Can't get it to go this time. Is there's Donahoe on the board? And here comes Mike Wagner out and running. Underhand, oh, the backspin on it. Nearly had it, but now he's trapped. Blackerby takes it away, throws it in, right to Francis, my goodness. Jack Francis, now into Whitlow. Whitlow gonna take it to the hoop, gets it to go. Mitchell Whitlow, 15 on the game. A huge game from Mitch. He's really finding his footing offensively. Here comes Arnold. He'll pull up. That's just... Mm. You know, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt there. They have a way better view. It looked like Wagner was, uh, was in position, but they're going to get Mike for a foul there. Can't help but get frustrated. Uh, I'm trying to be a journalist uh, trademark, but... Sometimes you can't help but uh, root for your team a little bit. I think that one was a, a legit foul going against uh, Mike Wagner. As no Arnold steps to the line, he's got 13. Uh, nobody else has more than 10. Nate Davidson, uh, who's out after picking. No, he's back in. Is they're going to get a... That one, come, that one I will not be unbiased about. <laughs> Arnold missed it, but Anderson picked up a foul, and it will be one and one, so Davidson... Heads back to the line after crashing his way through two Anderson players that were boxing him out. Davidson's been perfect from the line tonight. And that continues. So Donahoe in the game along with the starters. Langley is out. Anderson won't get the dominant win that they got last time, but Davidson misses there. They still are, uh, still are up by a pretty handy margin. Now here's Jack driving into the lane. He pulls back, back to Whitlow. Mitchell lobs it inside to Donahoe. I didn't catch it. Now back Blackerby for three. Oh, in and out. The rebound goes to Maynard, and now he's going to push the pace. Under six minutes to play. They've got to get on their horse if they want to make it a game. Here's Davidson with nine points. 
Back outside for Arnold. He's taking his time with it. Dishes it inside to Varela. Turnaround jumper is good. Pretty roll there for Ryan Varela. He's got six in the game. Nifty finish. Now here comes Wagner. They're content to hold it. Now here's Whitlow. Wagner around, gonna take it into the paint, gets all the way to the cut, lays it up. <laughs> oh my goodness! Mike Wagner, a beauty of a finger roll. That's his third made bucket of the game, he's got six. Goes the other way, Trojans push it back to a 21 point lead. Now here comes Adams, working on Wagner, trying to dance. Now he drives in on Donahoe, kills his dribble, back outside for Davidson. to 40. They are not uh, showing a sense of urgency here down by this many points because that's going to be out of bounds I believe off of Donahoe. So it's off of Anderson. It will stay down here. Anderson setting up. Try and defend this inbound. We're going to try and get it to Arnold I assume because they can't get it to anyone. It's just right off of Jack's you know uh, right off of his not favorite place to be hit. Now Varela's going to try and get it in. He does find Arnold. He's going to stretch into a three. That's off. Rebound. Strong block. Oh, my gosh. This is the box now. Is that on Donahoe? If that's on Donahoe, this is, um, yeah, they're going to get Liam Donahoe. That was just a, a, an excellent box out. That's fundamental basketball. This has not been the, the best. Uh, Best work from the crew here tonight. I was complimenting the box out as they called the foul. As Davidson's going to get more free throws, he's shot a lot of them tonight. He misses the front end there. Now here comes Whitlow. All the way he's going to take it. Euro step around, lays it in. Mitchell Whitlow, he got to stop ball, but I guess not. Mitchell, 17 in the season finale. 63 to 40. Hope this one hasn't disappointed your Trojan fans. As Arnold tried to get Donahoe on a crossover, couldn't. He's going to take it to the cup. Throws it up. Can't get it to fall. A little too much there. Now here come the Trojans. Blackity. Head up. Fritz the needle to Donahoe. Liam stuck under the cup. Now back for Francis. Jack, I imagine, is trying to look for 32. He does. Posting up. And Varela doing a nice job just to take that right away. Halfway through the quarter, Whitlow pokes it away. And now diving to the floor. If this is blocking me, Anderson gets it back. We will have a timeout. So a full timeout for the Trojans. I imagine that might do it for some of these starters. Want to pull something up. You remember Mitchell Whitlow, I don't remember which game it was that he played so well. I think it might have been against either Travis or Lockhart. Pull it back. It was February 5th. Who did they get on February 5th? It was against Lockhart. Mitchell Whitlow put up 15 that before then was his high. Mitchell Whitlow, 17 points was his season high at the beginning of the year against Alamo Heights. I had to go back and find it. So 17 against Alamo Heights, 17 in the season finale against McCallum. So some nice, uh, some nice point symmetry for big number one, Mitch Whitlow. Let's see if we can get him a 20-piece tonight. There's four minutes left. Anderson going to keep the starters out there. Now here's Wagner. Trojans with a comfortable lead with only four minutes to play. Skips it into Dale. Freddy goes up with it, can't get it to go. Dale, ooh, lucky he wasn't called for a foul there. So I could be, I could be fair. He was used to pushing it up ahead. Now back outside for Arnold. He's gonna dribble into one, steps back. He's been taking quite a few shots. Whitlow got a hand on that, but poked right to where Maynard could get it. Now three and a half left. 63 to 40. Houston trying to do something with it. Wagner just steals it away, and here he comes. Lays it up. Two more for the point guy. 
now for Mike. Lay off, lay off, lay off, lay now skips it in for Houston. He gets a free look at it, and he missed the bunny. Blackerby slowing it down. He's bringing it up, looking for somewhere to go with it. They're not going to pick him up. He'll just take this. He skips in, splits a double team. And, oh, he was trying to thread it to Dale, but a good job by Maynard to take that one away. And Anderson now starting to put the uh, the bench team towards the scorer's table. It will be all your favorites. Now stepping back into a three is an air ball. Wagner saves it. Oh, he's got his focus on the line. So Wagner basically gives it a, another possession to McCallum as they're going to get everybody out of the game. Wagner wanted to keep playing. I think that's why he tried to save that ball. Uh, that's funny. Uh, but either way, the starters will come out. And that is Anderson putting their stamp on just another incredible season of basketball. <laughs> little, a little action for the camera. Appreciate that, fellas. As, as they deserve it. I mean, when you, when you go 28-0 in district play in the past few seasons, and how, how, how good does it have to feel? to sing na 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 at your, uh, at, the, at your rival team's place. As now McCallum on a couple misses gets it back. Here's Varela. As no, you just get your guys basking in the glory of two undefeated district seasons. As there's Price to take it away. Here he comes. He's all alone. Varela coming at him. Scoop and score. Corey Price. A deuce for him. The last time that these two teams played, Corey had 13. Now here's the Anderson bench. We won't be able to get much of a shot as these guys are just, they're just on their feet. As we, I gotta commend them for it. As here's Arnold. And who's that on? It's gonna be an offensive foul going against McCallum. Couldn't quite see it, but here they go. Corey Price off the bench with two points. 154 remain. Anderson gonna put it away here, 27 and eight will be their record at the end of the year. 14-0 and 0 for back-to-back -back seasons. What a run it has been for Coach Pitt and this Anderson Trojan, dare I say, dynasty. I, I, it's not, but I can have fun, right? Here's Price driving in, loses it, gets it outside the hole, into the corner for Alexander. He's going to go baseline. Oh, he didn't step on it at all. He did not step on that baseline. I saw it. He did not. He threaded that needle perfectly. I had my, my eye on his foot, too, I just because I figured he would step out. But no matter. Arnold going to step back into a three. That's no good. He's struggled here today. Still put up a good stat line, 13 points. But here comes Price. Now driving around the pick. Steps back. He's going to fire. That's no good. Rebound goes in to Nate Davidson. So now 60 seconds to play as our attention is going to go ahead to the playoffs. Bazarian tried to draw the charge, but here's Arnold driving in, stepping back, dancing around, getting to the cup, getting it to go. So Noah Arnold, with that, puts his total to 15 on the game. Cuts into that lead just a, just a touch. So Anderson with a little bit more of a symmetrical lead now, 25 points. As there's Armour, and they're just going to hold on to it unless they make him. Channing, na 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 na, hey hey hey, goodbye. On the road at your rival's place, they can have their 14 to three football victory. Anderson wins the season series. Yeah, you can have that. Anderson wins the basketball season series by a total of 68 points. They beat McCallum by an average of 34 in the two games this season. Mitchell Whitlow, the man right there, with 17 points in the game. And that will do it. The Anderson Trojans do it again. Back-to-back -back seasons of 14-0 in district play go the Trojans as they now head into postseason play. Still not sure who they will play or when exactly that will be. Uh, I'm sure all you parents and grandparents and everybody else listening will get word as to um, you start on that just as soon as I do. It will be next Tuesday, so these guys will have Friday off, which we appreciate. Uh, so they will go probably not too far, I believe. I know I missed the by-district round last year. I just realized that this year because they played Pflugerville, and they beat them, and I don't remember that game at all, so I must have missed it. So Anderson will play somewhere probably pretty close by for the first round. It won't be until the second round if they get there that they're going to have to go on the road a little bit. But that is two 
undefeated seasons for the Anderson Trojans in district play. They have not lost a district game in 29 attempts. They finished with a record of 27 and 8 postseason ahead. Finally, it's been it feels like we've been leading up to it for for such a long time. But now the Anderson Trojans will move on to the postseason. There's your boys. Want to take you through final score, final point tallies. Mitchell Whitlow, a uh, game of his life, 17 points. And he's just a junior, so he'll be back next season. Francis with 14. Bennett Blackerby exploded in the second half with 7 points. 12 on the game for him. Wagner with 8. Langley with 9. 2 points apiece for Campbell Duncan and Corey Price. Campbell Duncan with one of the highlights of the night. Getting uh, He missed a couple, got his own rebound on each of them was able to lay it in but now this team heads to the postseason it's a beautiful beautiful uh, run of games for them as you're going to get a good look at them coming through the quote-unquote tunnel as they dispatch their rivals with i wouldn't i won't even say relative ease with just downright ease and as i said they beat mccallum in two basketball games by a total of 68 points so they beat mccallum by an average of 34 this year and that will do it for us. I want to thank you all for tuning in all season. Of course, this isn't the end of the road for us. Anderson wins district. They go undefeated. Now it's by district time. That'll be next week, probably uh, either next Monday or next Tuesday. So that'll do it for us. I want to, as I was saying, thank you for tuning in to the broadcast all year. It's been a blast. And finally, finally, we are towards the end of it. It's hard to believe. It's, it's a little bittersweet being done with the regular season. But an excellent game. For, for all these guys and an excellent season for all these guys. Can't imagine how proud everybody uh, around Northwest Hills and, and North Austin are of this team. I know I am. I know the coaching staff is. And they have just done a wonderful job all season. We're going to go ahead and sign off. This will be our last broadcast for at least a week, as we said, as Anderson will you. you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> will uh, finish the season there. As I said, 27 and 8 going to go ahead and sign off. Hope you all have a great night and a great rest of your weekend. I have been Jack Farrell, as I have been all season and the last 22 years, if I want to add that. But going to go ahead and sign off. The final score here, 67 to 42. Anderson wins it by 25 on the road against their rival McCallum. Good night, everybody. <laughs>